learn a verse from the Bible that tells us how God is kind and always ready to forgive us. Now, watch it first and we will learn it together. You, Lord, are kind and ready to forgive. Psalm 86, 5. I want everyone to stand up so we can say the Bible verse. I'll say it first, then you repeat after me. You, Lord, are kind. You, Lord, are kind. And ready to forgive. And ready to forgive. Psalm 86, 5. Psalm 86, 5. This verse reminds us that God is kind. K-I-N-D, kind to me. He loves us and is ready to forgive us when we make wrong choices. We all make wrong choices, but God cares for us and is ready to forgive us when we ask him. Let's say the verse again as you repeat it after me, but let's put on our running shoes and pretend like we are running. Let's go. You Lord are kind. You Lord are kind. And ready to forgive. Psalm 86, 5. Psalm 86, 5. Great job. I want everyone to say it one more time with me, but this time with our outside voices. Ready? One, two, three. You, you Lord, are kind, kind and, and ready, ready to, to forgive. forgive. Psalm 86, 5. God loves you and is ready to forgive you. God is K-I-N-D, kind to me. Great job, everyone. I'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. It's so great to see you today. My name is Emma. And I'm Aria. Welcome to the clubhouse. Good hike. Allison drops back. Burst open. He throws. I think we should go inside and see what's going on. Touchdown! Hey, Allison, what's going on in here? Oh, me and Barker just playing ball. You should see him catch. Inside the clubhouse? You know we aren't supposed to throw balls inside. I never heard that rule. Oh, yeah. Well, Barker and I are just going to be super careful. There's only a couple seconds left in the game, and we need one more touchdown to win. I don't think this is a good idea. There's three seconds left. Last play of the game. Ellison hikes the ball. Bert takes off, and the throw is up. Oh, no, no, no! The super box! That didn't sound good. You know you weren't supposed to throw the ball in the clubhouse. Well, let's see if the super clue our friend sent us is still okay. Oh no, the super clue. I broke it. I'm so sorry, everyone. I should have just followed the rules. Now this picture that you sent us of Bark is all messed up. Will you forgive me for not following the rules? Of course I forgive you. Me too. Do you forgive me for not following the rules? Yes! yes! Thanks, super friends. I really am sorry. We forgive you, but how does our super clue connect to the big deal and the Bible? Today's big deal is to the rescue. God forgives me. I wonder how it connects to the broken picture frame. This is a tough one. Let's all wonder together. Wait, I know. The Bible tells us that God will always love us and forgive us, even when we make wrong choices. God always forgives us. Exactly. Keep an eye out for the broken superclue. When you see the superclue, this is what I want you to do. Can you remind me that you forgive me for breaking the superclue by giving me a thumbs up and saying, I forgive you. Let's all try it together. I, I forgive you. Let's open the Bible and take a look at a story that shows us God's amazing forgiveness. Remember, the Bible is true and it's for you. Let's open the Bible to the book of John, where we will see how Jesus forgave one of his friends. Ready? Here we go. Jesus forgave Peter. Peter was a friend of Jesus, 
but had lied and told people that he didn't know who Jesus was. Three times people asked Peter if he knew Jesus. Three times Peter did not tell the truth. Three times Peter pretended he did not know Jesus. Jesus died on the cross, but God made him come alive again. Many days later, Peter and the other friends of Jesus had spent all night on a fishing boat, but they did not catch any fish. Jesus stood on the shore, but they did not recognize him. He told them to throw their nets on the other side of the boat, and they would catch fish. It is Jesus, John shouted. Peter could not wait to see Jesus. He jumped into the sea and swam to shore. When the others arrived on the beach, Jesus said, Come and have breakfast. Jesus took bread and gave it to them. Then he gave them the fish. After breakfast, Jesus asked Peter three times, Do you love me? Three times, Peter told Jesus he loved him. Peter wanted to obey Jesus. Peter loved Jesus. Then Jesus said, follow me. Jesus could have been mad or hurt that Peter lied. Even though Peter really messed up, Jesus still loved Peter and Jesus forgave Peter. Oh, hey, do you see something? The super clue. Do you remember what to do? I forgive you. Thanks and great job. Today's super clue is a broken picture frame. And it reminds us that even when we make wrong choices, God still forgives us. God forgives you. We have all broken the rules God gave us. That is called sin. Jesus came to rescue us and forgive us from the wrong choices we make. Thanks, everyone. I know I disobeyed the rules and broke the super clue, but I'm thankful that you forgave me. Hey, I have an idea. What do you think he's doing? Since I broke the last picture frame, I decided to make a new one with a picture of my best friends to remind me that God loves me and forgives me. No matter what. So... We learned Peter lied about knowing his friend Jesus. But did Jesus get mad? No! Jesus welcomed and forgave Peter. That reminds me of our big deal. To the rescue, God forgives me. God loves us no matter what. Because God loves us, he forgives us. Let's say our big deal together. I'll say it first, then you say it after me. Ready? To the rescue. To the rescue. God forgives me. God forgives me. That sounded amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> hey, do you know what else I found while I was searching for macaroni? This basketball. Who thinks they can take me? Outside, of course. Bark is on my team, so you're going down. Well, let's go. We will see all you amazing friends next time. Say bye, Bark. <laughs> <laughs>